you know, now that I'm over here in Iowa, uh, I figure, you know, I got a chiropractor that I go to in Oskaloosa, and uh, Atomwa, Atom, Atom, my wife always gets in my case because I say it wrong, Atomwa, Atom, Atom, anyway, Atomwa, however you want to say it, I apologize if I pronounced it wrong. Um, <clears throat> my uh, family, on my dad's side, we don't go back very far because he never really talked about it much. Um, and that's, our lineage kind of, it, it, it kind of dies with his, his mom. Um, we don't know much more other than my, my grandfather on my dad's side came from Germany or France or somewhere over there. Um, and so, but that's about it. Now on my mom's side, uh, my, my grandmother's mother was Grace Hatzel. Um, which was apparently a very wealthy, wealthy family, especially in his parts. Uh, Grace Hassel's father was a U.S. Marshal. And it creates a quite interesting story. My grandfather, my great-grandfather, um, was Hans Albert, which, uh, you know, nowadays is not a very popular name, but uh, in, in the 18... You know, in the early 1900s, you know, 1906, 1903, that, that area, um, he was like the, uh, <laughs> he was kind of like the out of control popular musicians that we see today. Not that that's a good thing, I guess, but he was very famous. Um, he was the type of person that when somebody would do an April Fool's joke on a paper, uh, that he had died, the, you know, everybody would be in a panic, like, no, Hans Albert can't be dead. Um, and if you Google him, now this is not Hans Albert Einstein, that's a different person. This is just Hans Albert. So I'm going to give you a brief history on Hans Albert, uh, what I know about him. Um, you'll find uh, thousands of newspaper articles of, uh, over the United States <coughs> that have reference to him. Um, I wasn't able to go through all of them, but I did go through several hundred, so I know they for, for sure reference to him. Um, and I've got this written down, so I'll just read it. I know it's going to be boring, but I'll do the best I can because it's, it's kind of uh, a summary of who Hans Albert was. Professor Hans Albert was a world-famous violinist in his day. He was born in Vienna, and he became the protege of Emperor Franz Joseph at the age of nine and studied under <coughs> Swedermann. He, the renowned maestro of the Royal Conservatory of Wurzburg. I apologize again, I don't know how to pronounce these names. When he was 16, His Majesty the Emperor appointed him as the concertmeister with the Imperial Opera, and by age of 19, he was called to America to become a first violinist in the Theodore Thomas Symphony Orchestra of Chicago. Now, I did some more research on that. Uh, I do believe he was definitely that that historical information is accurate um, he actually also wrote an article about the uh, conductor at the time period uh, a newspaper article I found a newspaper article that he had written uh, praising the conductor that he had worked with or of, of the opera of the orchestra at that time period however he is not listed in the Theodore Thomas Sympathy Orchestra uh, records um, because the only thing they kept track of was contract uh, musicians. Musicians that actually had a contract with the orchestra. However, there, uh, I talked to the orchestra, somebody at the, that keeps track of all this stuff, and they said more than likely he was a fill-in guy, a backing guy. So my guess is they had somebody that was not able to play for a while, um, had health problems, who knows what the reason was. So basically, uh, he, I think he was, I do think he, he was with the uh, orchestra in Chicago Symphony Orchestra. However, I think he was not on contract. I think he was a fill-in guy. Um, and, but obviously they needed somebody, they needed somebody quick. So the fact that they picked him and brought him, that's what brought him over to the States for whatever reason. Um, according to a few historical records that I had found on him, one was Cripple Creek Days. They had mentioned a newspaper article, but I was not able to find the, uh, the newspaper article. Um, 
it referred to him as following his brilliant concert he was the honor of being invited to President Grover Cleveland to give a recital at the White House so um, that is a general thing his stopping ground was mostly Iowa Nebraska uh, I found some letters that he'd wrote and reviews he'd wrote on uh, music stores in, in uh, Chicago and now I have to run so I'll finish this later we are heading to Otomoa now um, and I will talk about this more after or during Bye. well we're coming into how do you say it How do you say it? Atumwa. Atum, Atumwa. We're coming into Atumwa. Did I do it right? Yes. Sure? Yes. You won't kill me now? It's not Atumwa. 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 Yes. We're coming into Atumwa now. We're four miles away. We're heading to the, uh, what's the museum called? Wapello or Wapello County. Wapello County Historical Museum. This is the outskirts of it. So here's Main Street. So the Your destination is right here. Your right to Dead West Main Street. It must be right here. Yep. Cool. Navigate to Market on Main. Right to Wapello County Historical Museum. Market on Main. So here we're starting our first stop at the museum. I did. I got some of it. I guess it's in the end. Go ahead. You're fine. Do do do. Definitely in our station. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Chicago. No food or drink. So, um, no food or drink. what those pictures are what this what this is um, so this is what's this about this is the gothic house I don't know much about it. I just know that it is the same house that they did this famous painting the farmer and his wife painting thing right I know so what it's, called. it's called the American Gothic oh, by yeah, Grant the, Wood so that's the Amer American Gothic house right there here right. In and then here Go over here is a newspaper article where the looks like a class. Um, anyway, a bunch of people went. This is 1983. This picture was taken in front of it in 1983, but there's the house. Cool. The picture of her later, the lady that posed for that picture, her name was Nan Wood Graham. So she posts for this at the same time, June 13th. So this was all part of this article. So they, they did it like she went and posed for that picture later in June 13th. That's cool.
So that was the museum, and the lady there mentioned uh, the genealogy department in the library. So we're gonna go check that out and see if we can find anything interesting. We found the address of where the Hatzels lived back in 1903. So we're gonna drive by and check it out. It's two blocks from here. Here we go, let's see if there's anything left. This is where the Hatzel family look, looks like. Um, the mom, the dad, Grace, which is uh, my hey, great grandmother. Um, What's that? Uh, bird. Okay. <laughs> So this is the street she lived on. According to the books, it was 227. And this, this was it right here, this That thing. right there, according to the books. Because this other one here is... Whoa, John. 225. Yep. Well, go in, I'll be right here. All right. I'm not going in there, so there you go. Okay. This, they lived on a big hill. Yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and go to the other Hatzel that apparently moved from into the area a year after. Take a right up here. Uh, Cora. Was that her name? Cora? Mm -hmm. She lived in 411, what? West Maple? Yep. Avenue. So we were going to. And there was only one Washington, right? In this town? Hopefully there wasn't an avenue. Street. I'll come right This house here. Uh, is now on this street according to the map it would be this house and the door I went up they didn't have any idea but the door I went to really doesn't look like a main entrance and there is a door on the street it looks like one time it could have been more the main entrance because it from basically just peeking in their house it looked like their living room and the door I just went to that's on this street is actually right into their kitchen um, so I'm going to guess that this huge house right here is 411 West Maple. Yeah, 411 West Maple is probably what its address was, and being as the road never went through and became a driveway, um, they changed it to be on the, the cross street. They changed the address. So here's the house. I'm gonna we're gonna go back up the road and then drive back, and, and Robin will point it out as we go. And you'll see the, the where two cars are parked right now. Uh, she'll point that out is is was apparently a street at one point and that was the front of the house faced that street and now it's just people just parked their cars there so um, anyway I believe this is where the other Hatzel uh, lived Cora Hatzel which I have no idea who that was why is it on me all of a sudden why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, so to, can I turn it down now or put it down? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go down okay. this way. Over. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, so here's the driveway that yeah, used to here be a street. Is the driveway. And so 411 would be to the right. And as you can see where they have the trampoline, my guess is used to have a way to get up there because there's a door out there and it looks like it was their front door. Mm -hmm. And here is the house. And that was probably the front of the house, right there, and there's the door. Can you see the door on the camera? No, nope. you should have, um, right there. oh yeah, I can. And yep. so my guess is that was the front of the house. Yep. And this was the back of the house. And that was the house. So mm -hmm. that was the Hatzel house, the second Hatzel house, back in 1903, which was pretty darn big. All right. So that's all I'm gonna do for research today. Gives me an idea of what's available. And uh, maybe next time, a couple months, we'll come down here and check so out. So is it up those. here? Yeah, it's right over this hill. Hill? Yeah. Hill. Hill. Okay, so it's right up here. The one with the green roof. Green roof? Yep. I think 
guess that's green. Yeah, something. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, that's definitely the back of the house. Yeah, I think so too. So that's 411. And that used to be a street. Mm-hmm. So now we're gonna go towards downtown. Oh, I should have went one more street over. Why? Because this isn't it. Oh. This is where the library was. Is that a Hardy's? Pizza Hut. Oh, I thought tiny little Pizza Hut. Is this a one way? Yeah. No. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. Yes, don't worry, I'll make sure that you get some camera time, honey. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, now we're on Main Street, Atom Atomwa. Atomwa? No. Atomwa? There's no U Atumwa. in it. How do you say it again? Atomwa. Atomwa? I mean, there's no, oh, God, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'm dumb. I was like, I'm confused. I thought I said it right. No, you, you did it. not. So there was the museum. Mm -hmm. Down here is supposed to be the... the... Oh, the market. Yeah, the market. In a quarter of a mile, the destination is there's on the left. Flea market. Flea market? Boy, there's a lot of empty buildings. I guess they're kind yep. of not doing so great here. Yep. It looks kind of gross down here. This is a nice looking building. It's been restored. There's not anything interesting in it. There's nothing in it. Well, What's was, that? The, the bus station. The train mm. station. What's this right here? I like whatever uh, it is. TV appliance. Oh, I like the, I don't know why I like it though. I, I, can just park here. I don't want to go there though. You don't want oh, to? I want to go there, but I want to eat. Oh, okay, well, then, okay. You confused me. All right. You so wanted to go down me, not me. Oh, okay. Well, then we need to figure out where we're going to eat. I can't see. I got a big camera in my face. Yes, you do. I was just making sure you got camera time. Yeah. So now we're going to go eat. Where are we eating, Robin? Bubba Q's. Bubba Q's. Navigate to Bubba Q's. Which is, everything sucks because... Actually, why don't we go to um, the market first, just because I'm afraid of my clothes. Okay, let's go to the market first. Um, it's yeah, right behind us. We can take it, the whatever we buy in with us. You mind if we just walk to it from here? Huh? It's just right there. It is? Yeah. How far? Right there. Okay, but should we be parking here? Uh, yeah. It's not like he's got a car to park on. She never believes me. Okay, so we decide we're going to go to the market on Main first, and then we're going to eat. I don't know what this is. It's a market. This is interesting. Is this not what you thought it was? Sure. I thought it was a market. This is a restaurant. I'm confused. Oh, they have live music here. Yeah. This is cool. I want to come here sometime. You what? I want to come here. They are here. No, I mean when it's actually open doing things. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. We got birdie houses and all kinds of neat things. Well, I am curious. So when, when is like this place, I noticed they have that big thing downstairs. Uh, when does all that, when is there usually stuff like in the weekends, the evenings? When is it yeah, usually like? Weekends and evenings. Um, so Friday evenings, we normally have live music. Okay. Um, so happy hour prices. We have um, craft beers on draft. Okay. Um, and then uh, Saturday evenings, it's just our bar that opens up and Floyd's is the place right next to Louis, not Louis the Lee but right next to Rita's this time. And he's got a, what was it? He's, he's gonna be the only vendor that's available on Saturday that's nights. Nice. So just cause it's hard to have hours right. for everybody. Now you, you know mentioned I mean? there was one that does lettuce wraps. Was that here? I think it might oh, be yeah. the deli. Oh, that's the one. Or the Mediterranean. Uh, oh, the Me oh, the Mediterranean. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, and then uh, what else? And then Tuesdays we have sushi. So I guess it would be, she was going to, do you have like a thing that has a list of times or not? It's, <laughs> well, it's just opened and then the Mediterranean Bistro kind of just opened as well. Oh, okay. So playing with times. 
honestly, but let me go look right now to see what time okay. uh, Jonathan will be back in. Okay, okay. thank you. So Robin's gonna try rabbit, rab, Robin jerky. Robin's gonna try rabbit jerky. Yeah, it died.